the first car going in the pond. If you look right here, you have pond goldfish, comets, like, and the fish are looking, let's see. This one is beautiful. Beautiful fish right there. Bam! So sick, dude. What is going on, Kafaros? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we got koi fish swimming around the pond. You see them right there? I ain't gonna show you anything else. Camera's getting wet. It's been raining out here all day long. One of my favorite videos ever to film. You guys know Next Day Koi. I've done a lot of stuff with them. We got multiple koi fish from them in the past that are at my parents' house right now in their pond. Today, I finally got koi. I've been talking about it for a while for my front pond. This beautiful pond right here. And with this overcast, it makes it look really cool. Uh, but yeah, koi fish are going in here. I went on to nextdaykoi.com the other morning and uh, you know, during quarantine, got nothing really else better to do. So I'm sitting there, I'm going through the site and I'm like, what, what kind of koi fish can I order? And it's funny, cause even I use my discount code for Next Day Koi. It's Kafaro for 10% off. Uh, I'll leave the links in the description down below. But yeah, I was like, all right, let's go, let's go koi fish shopping for the front pond. We need to get some koi fish for this thing. So I go on the website and uh, I go looking and I filmed it all. So I'm gonna just roll the clips of what we ordered, what we ended up getting. <laughs> is this the one? Add the cart. Nice. Bam. Loaded. Got him. Cha-ching. That That's five. Heavy. We have one more. Let's make this one count. Let's look at the la Ooh. very last fish. The, the very last, last one. The wow, these are freaking beautiful. Okay. No, no. Seven inch that. though. We're not we're going a little smaller than that here. If you look right here, you have pond goldfish comets. Like they have so many different things you could buy. Shop all. Um, pond packs, fish food, there's all sorts of stuff you can get. I'm literally on just like a common koi list right here. That is insane. You have so many to pick from. Matsuba! Like something like that, you That's know? That's really nice. Like, like that oddball, you know, odd one out. And that is gonna complete our cart. So let's see what we got. We have a cart of six different fish. Proceed to check out here. And uh, I'm gonna put all my info in and of course use my code. Ding, ding, ding. It's Kafaro. So use the code and um, yeah. I'll see these fish when I get here tomorrow. So yeah, there you go, fellas. Uh, a day later, the package shows up in the front of my house here. I was super excited. Although the koi fish are already in, I did film putting them in as well, unboxing them. So enjoy that, and I'll see you right after you see that. <laughs> these things are packaged with literally like installation for a house. That's how good it's packaged. And the fish are looking, let's see. Oh wow, they're tiny. Good. Holy crap. Look at the orange one, dude. That one is so dope. But you can see all the koi fish we picked out on the website are literally the exact fish that showed up. Check that out. Look at them all right there. Alright, so time to acclimate. Alright, it's pouring rain, so we're just gonna kinda like slide them in and then I'll get pick up the camera in a little bit, but. Here we go, we're here, the front pond. As you can see, the bass and the gar and the cichlids and the tilapia are all out of the pond. We put them in the corner pond, even the gar. The first gar going in the pond. We got the gar right here, the bass and the tilapia in the bucket. Here we go. Yeah, bud. All right, now let's get these fish in. Look how big the tilapia, well, here's the bass, how fat they got. Imagine the ones that are in here right now that we release. There's one. Yeah, bud. The tilapia grew so much too. Look at that. But Bailey! Oh, baby. <laughs> Two bass, three tilapia, gar, a couple of Mayan cichlids. Out of the pond, koi fish now going in. As you know, we have bass in there previously. We put a bunch of different fish in there, so that's super cool. Maybe we'll go out there and try to catch a fish one day. Think we should do that? Let me know in the comments down below. Meaning, there is no fish in this pond. Uh, these koi fish are much smaller than I expected. I didn't really recognize what, I guess, four inches actually was. Uh, they have the sizes on the website. I just bought smaller than I expected. So, yes, they're small, but yes, they also will grow. I just hope they don't hide in the rocks and stuff. Because they're bigger, they usually can't fit in them. But let me just give you a good look at each and every koi fish. Let me get it. So we're going to open the bag up after acclimating. Finally, this rain has stopped. It's been raining all day. Um, we're going to give you a look at each and every koi fish. And once again, don't forget, you can go to the description down below and uh, get some koi fish that will deliver right to your front door yourself with 10% off using code Kafaro. So make sure you go to nextdaykoi.com and do that. That black and white one, man. Dude, it's starting to rain again, dang it. Yeah. All right, um, maybe you should go under there, under the cover. This is our butterfly right here. You see the jinrin, the scales? How pretty that fish is right there? Golly, man. I'm gonna put him in. There you go, baby. 
finally some koi fish in the pond. Although they're small, they will grow fast. So. Oh, we did get it. I think we got more than one butterfly. Maybe this is a butterfly too. I don't remember. I honestly don't even remember what we ordered. This one's tiny. Look at this little thing. It's like a shad. Boop. And they're all gonna school up because obviously they're all koi, so. This one is beautiful. Beautiful fish right there. Bam! So sick, dude. This is another really, really beautiful fish right here. Look at the coloration on that. On the head, everything. You notice how they're all just sitting right there? They're waiting for the pals. Yeah, they're like, all right, where's the other two? We got two more. Two more in here. Look at that. Look at That's that. That's the one I picked. That's the one you picked? Yeah. Pretty sure the blue, yeah. I think so, yeah. Just wow, bro. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. This one might be the prettiest one. I'll be honest with you. Like, might be the, uh, color-wise. Look at that, dude. Is that pretty? If you're ever handling koi fish too, make sure you are indeed, um, make sure, there he goes. Make sure you do have your hands moist and wet because you don't want to take their slime coat off. But uh, yeah, all six koi fish are in the front pond. Once again, 10% off using code Kaferro. I only suggest it to you guys because every time I do, they message me and go, yo, the Kaferros are insane. You guys always blow their site up. So if you guys do want, 10% off. Once again, code Kaferro, next day koi, the koi fish literally show up to your house. Look at this, the box is sitting on my patio <laughs> one day after I ordered the koi fish. And say you don't want them to show up the next day, you're out of town or something like that, just schedule it, calendar thing, just schedule it to arrive a different day. That's all you gotta do. But it's cool that you do have the opportunity to get them the next day. It is uh, super cool to have koi fish in here. Although it doesn't really look filled in right now, you'll see them swimming around. Um, they will grow and it'll been, it'll eventually fill in, you know? Maybe we can get even more. Well, maybe we'll go order some more eventually, one day. The orange one stands out, that's for sure. Since uh, we're on a fishy topic, I just cleaned the 160 gallon. It was on my to-do list and uh, finally got it done. So the water's looking clean. As you can see, the substrate is looking good too and the fish are looking even better. All right, I think the plan is, well, let me go in the kitchen real quick to show you what I want to do. So the pond out front now has minnows and koi fish. That's it, wow, it's bright, there we go. I want to put all the guppies into the front pond. I think it'd be cool, like, you know what I mean? All these things right here, as you can see, they're, they're pretty much outgrowing this tank. This is a small tank and they're having too many babies, like, like physically, like too many. Look at them all, you can just see them and they're get, the babies are getting big now. As you can see, those are all babies that are growing up. So I think it's time to get these fish and put them into the front pond. So with that, uh, bond, pond. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna get this tank. Yo boys, you wanna help me out here? Okay, <laughs> and uh, get them into the pond. Might as well, they're like minnows, but they're colorful and it would look really cool because they don't need to be in this, there's so many now. So there's just fish everywhere. As you can see, some of the babies are growing little red tails. Those are most likely the males, but like you look over here, wait till you see them, look at, look at, look at how tiny. See the little dark ones? They're so small. My goal is, my goal is to get the plants out without any babies being in them, lower the water and then carry the tank out and just pour it in. You know what I'm saying? So we don't miss any of the babies. I want everything to live. Do it with a cup there, bud. So I'm just gonna slowly rise the plants out of the water. No fish could possibly be stuck in here. Rise them out? Rise them out! And then Sloop. into the five gallon. There were six babies in those plants. Take the filter, you know? What are you doing with that? I'm just gonna rise it out. <laughs> That is funny. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Well, guys, look. Look, this is what happens. I go outside for two minutes. <laughs> Not even 30 seconds to get my siphon. I just wanted some food loops. This is heavy. I unfilled half of it. Go free, my loved ones. What is wrong with you, man? Dude, I was walking the, the tank 
Was, oh my god. Out to the trash can. Dude, what do we do? Because that's going to have glass in the grass. Glass in the grass! Glass in the grass! Alright, I got to get all this glass. Holy crap. That was a big oopsie, huh? I was, yeah, I was walking the tank out, dropped it, kaboom! And glass just went everywhere. Fellas, this is not good. I'll get back to you when it's clean in three, two, one. Ha! And now just a couple minutes later, you can see fan tail guppy right there with the blue tail. Um, I, I, the babies are obviously so small and they're probably hiding in the rocks because they're afraid of these other bigger minnows. But once they get the big, they'll start coming out. There's just so many different like minnows and the, the fish are small and this is a big pond. So you barely can kind of see them. But I figured this right here is a much better area. They have lots of places to hide. I mean, there's, you know, it goes all the way under to here. So they have all under the ground right here, all in these rocks. Every week, look, I mean, they're hiding right there. See two of them right there up on the rocks. The pigs love this weather. They love the overcast weather. Look at them, all the goats are inside the house, but you can see them all just chilling right here. Saw some comments of like, why would you put the goat house right there? The goats would jump on it and uh, jump over the fence. You're, you're kind of right. Although uh, I had it there prior to when I built that one, just not screwed in like a week beforehand and they never jumped out. But I decided to just go with your word and I moved the goat house over to there, which if you know if they jump that fence, they couldn't get out because they have another fence to get around that black one that goes around the backside. What up, chickens? That's the new chicken. <laughs> why are you ducks over here? Like, why do you come over here? You have the entire enclosure over there. I have not found a positive comment shout out for today's video, but you know what? I'm just gonna pop it up right here. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna do another one. So we gave away two positive comment shout outs today. If you were one of them, congratulations. And if you wanna be one of them, drop a positive comment down in the comments down below. Make sure to drop a like on this video. Let's see if we can hit 15, 20,000 likes. Thank you so much everyone for watching. If you did wanna get yourself a koi, the exact koi you see online is the one you get at your house the following morning. Go use my code Kafaro for 10% off on nextdaykoi.com. Thought I'd offer you it. I did it, super dope. I love unpackaging stuff, especially when it's new fish. So hopefully you enjoyed farm doing good just wanted to update everyone on the animals and uh yeah two videos in a row man posted yesterday and i posted today <sighs> that's impressive for me <laughs> thank you so much hit that subscribe button i'll see you in the next one peace out Like a little gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> My precious.